Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again and we are going with the character randomizers. I've added all the new modded characters now, all the Fiend Folio characters and stuff, so we might see them every now and again. But for starters, we are going in with Tainted Samson, so let's give that a go. Uh, we can kind of go for whatever marks we want here, but Mother would be a good one to go for, I think, today. I'd quite like to go for a Mother run, so let's try that out. Um, yeah, we're jumping in, we're seeing what we can get done. Um, and yeah, as for the question of the day today, what is the last thing that you Googled? What is the last thing that you searched for in Google? I think that, that's kind of a potentially interesting one because it can get really weird. I'm trying to think what... Oh, I did not see that coming at all. Oh, God. Again. <laughs> Pretty good hits there, game. Pretty good hits there. I, 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 for some reason, just wasn't expecting that. I don't know. I find the bee enemies to be so unbelievably difficult. Like, what the bullshit? I've almost died already. <laughs> Give me that heart back. Thank you. These dudes especially I tend to find really difficult. Okay, we got a little bit of extra power out of that guy. Dude, I am getting wrecked right now. <laughs> Ooh, this guy fires those dudes too, which have changed AI, which is certainly interesting. Okay, we're definitely 100% going to die um, to this boss, I would say. I would say that the likelihood is... Very high. Okay, this helps. But, okay, no, we're good, we're good. We managed it. We did, unfortunately, just get Mum's lipstick, but that will give us a heart. It gave us a soul heart, which is fine by me. But yeah, I'm trying to think what the last thing I googled was now. I think it was, um, uh, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Tzatziki? Um, like, uh, the, the Greek sauce. It was a recipe for that. I made it last night, and it was quite amazing. I ended up doing a, a reasonably good job of it, at least in my opinion. I love the way that enemy actually dies when it does that. Dude, I keep getting hit. I really, I'm just, the B enemies throw me off regardless of whether it's the B enemies that are hitting me or not. I'm going to blame them. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad though. We've got okay HP here. Still having trouble finding our item room. It's apparently miles and miles away. Oh my goodness. This dude won't die. Yo, this guy's going to jump over me and get me. I like the way these bees' bodies, like, leave a creep puddle next to them as well if you don't destroy them. How are you still taking shots, my dude? Okay, we finally got some health back. And we got a new card here, which I'd argue oh, I'd love to uh, grab, but unfortunately... Oh, wait, no, we can do that. Diffuse. Bombs be gone. I'm guessing that just diffuses troll bombs. We got Anima Solar here, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to guess this diffuses troll bombs. Um, transfer, transforms bomb rocks and troll bombs into bomb pickups, down, downgrades explosive enemies into their regular version. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, we'll keep that on hand and see if we need that at any point. I'm not sure exactly where we'd want to use that. But yeah, Anima Solar, great, great start here. Of course, we unfortunately didn't get a key, so we can't go down poor yet. But we'll try and go there in a little bit. But yeah, I ended up doing some Greek food last night. I made like this Greek herb mix and then I made some tzatziki sauce and we basically, I there's this place we order from every now and again, this Greek takeaway that's really, really nice. Okay, I did not expect it to stop that thing in its tracks. Um, but yeah, uh, they do this um, this Greek this Greek takeaway you go to um, and they do like Greek gyros and all that sort of stuff. It's really good. And the last time I went there, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get a little bit extra. Oh, I hate these worms. These worms are so difficult, especially in a room like this. Wow. I'm really hoping we can get our um, rage meter filled pretty quickly here. Because, yeah, these guys are a pain. Um, but, yeah, I was like, oh, I'll get, like, an extra pit of bread because I'm going to get some extra sauces. So, why not? Okay, thank you for at least memeing on one of those guys. Um, and... Instead of sending me one, or at least I, I, like from what I think should have been one, I was sent an entire um, I was sent an entire bag of five full pita breads. So I wasn't really expecting that. Oh, it's still out of the key. God damn it. Um, I wasn't really expecting that. And so, uh, ooh, that's a very, 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 very good trinket for us right now. So I was a bit surprised, and uh, yeah, I was like, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to use these at some point. So, ooh, this guy's firing like extra shots here. What's What's with the red shot he's firing? I'm not quite sure what that's about. Um, careful of these dudes. Yes, I was like, oh, well, might as well try and make something out of this. Um, and so I, I was like, okay, well, 
we could do like chicken gyro wraps ourselves, and I could make the tzatziki sauce and I've never made it before if you don't know what it is it's basically just um full fat Greek yogurt um, mixed with oil and um garlic with some cucumber and dill in it and I don't know it's really basic but my god it was so nice it was so good I, I just absolutely lathered the whole thing Okay, we're going to get our Rage Meter filled any second here. I really should just be using this whenever it's for available, to be honest. Okay. Keep going for now. Don't try and smack me, you fool. Honestly, this is such a good character for Fiend Folio, because the rooms tend to have quite a lot of enemies. Look at that. Oh my lord. That was insane. That's a great item for us to get as well. Damn, we lost our speed. Let's go back. Um, we still didn't get a key. Oh, no, we did. Okay, good. We got at least one key. We're going to have to say goodbye to Downpour for now. Uh, we get adjustment here, which didn't give us anything. Or maybe it gave us, did it give us bombs? It's supposed to drop them on the floor. Maybe it got rebalanced. I should have read the description on that. I know that the uh, Something Wicked mod, the um, mod my friend made, has just recently received an update. Hopefully will be coming out soon. Unfortunately, big waste of a key. Do you know, I'll at least grab one. At least... Oh, we gulped. Do you know what? That was pretty worthwhile. That was pretty worthwhile. I'm pretty happy about that, at least. Wasn't expecting a gulp. Let's try and look for secret room here. It's fairly obvious where it is. Um, or at least I think it is. I should check this upper wall as well. Yeah, it's definitely here. Second secret room, I'm not too sure on. Um, some regular pennies. Ooh, could this... Oh, I was hoping this would give us a key, but sadly not. And then second secret room. A little more up in the air, but it could be here. Damn. Um... Can't be there. Okay, I... I'll save my bomb. I'll save my bomb. All right, let's go. I'm still trying to find a good place to use this diffuse in. I'm not... I'm thinking maybe I could bomb a bomb beggar and then use diffuse to kind of use it like safety scissors if I find a bomb beggar. That's kind of the ideal scenario, right? Dude, that was a bit unfair. So we're only on half a soul heart here. Let's just be aware of that. We need some luck upgrades so we can get our teeth shot going. Because the Jawbreaker item is literally the exact same as Tough Love. I don't know why, but it is. I love the music on this floor. Okay, these are the guys with items. This guy's got Cursed Eye, which I wasn't expecting. I've locked myself in here, I just realised. Okay, so we're out of Soul Hearts. I need to stop doing what I'm doing with these lily pads. <laughs> I'm making things harder on myself for no reason. So this is a wet room, which means these guys can go right over the pits, which makes things a little more tricky. Yeah, another one of those going on. Do you know what? Double down on the sky while he's got animate solar on him. Okay, that, that was not what I expected. I did not expect to get this back. Damn you. Okay. I thought he was going to steal my angel deal there, but we got it. Beautiful. Beautiful floor there. And, ooh, this is tricky. Okay, so Sextant's pretty good. And I think Holy Light's the way to go because we're looking into getting, like, luck upgrades and stuff. Hatred's kind of decent, but not really what we're looking for right now. I think the uh, Sextant's going to be better. Oh, minus a penny. I had exactly enough as well. Shouldn't have taken the risk. But, yeah, I think... What, what people's last Googled phrase was can say a lot about them. <laughs> like, everyone knows that I'm big into cooking, so of course my last my last Googled thing is, um, oh god, is cooking recipe. But obviously for a lot of people, I feel like a lot of them it's going to be like gaming tutorial stuff. I don't know. I feel like it's a common one. Do you know, something that I really haven't spoken about much with Fiend Folio, one thing that I've really, really, like, I like a lot, which I'm surprised the base game doesn't do more of, is these combined rocks that we're seeing every now and again. Um, I don't know if you noticed one in the last room, if we take a look, there's like a massive rock here where there's like four rocks combined into one. I think they're really cool. Like, I know that it's only a small thing, so it's not like crazy, but I think they do add quite a lot. Um, ugh, that's not bad, but I think Sextant is better, being able to show us future rooms and stuff. 
Okay, so we got this now. We need to be able, actually let's let's just try and take out the um, the little fellas, and then we'll take out these guys with normal shots. Okay, we got our penny back at least here. I don't know when we got that, but we got it. But yeah, right now we've got very like decently augmented damage via holy light and tooth shot that can be even he more heavily augmented via a few luck upgrades. Let's check this out. Demon baby ain't bad. It's not the not the best, but at least when we're in um when we're in swinging mode, when we're going all guns blazing, it will um be pretty much permanently triggered because it's gonna be near enemies. Also, Anima Sola gives us a really good way of um, dealing with enemies we don't understand. See an enemy that we don't really get, that we haven't seen before. Because one thing that we need to remember with, with um, Fiend Folio is we're like more than 10 episodes in right now. But that does not by any means mean we're even close to seeing all the enemies. There is still so many enemies for us to see. Also, I'm very confused by... Um... Okay, no, now I'm not. This is, uh, is going to be a bit of a tricky room, I think. You're doing your thing. Where's your brain? There it is. Dude, can your brain, like, get over here? Thank you. I saw the other two brains on the floor and assumed it was theirs, but it wasn't. Okay, slightly more annoying room here, but Holy Light does have that AoE potential. Two shot does a good amount of damage as well. Yeah, Demon Baby's gonna do a good job while we're up close and personal, which is nice. I think Demon Baby gets kind of a bad rap. I think Demon Baby is really good, and I think I'm going to say Demon Baby again, just so I've said it four times in a row, and it sounds a bit weird. It's one of those words where the more you say it, the less it starts to sound like a real word. Oh my god, the Holy Light triggers with this is pretty good. Honestly, I'm just in it for the speed upgrade right now. Damn it. Okay, this is an annoying room. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. This is a really annoying room. This, is, this in my opinion, is one of the worst rooms in the game. Um, like, as in, like, for actually not getting hit. It's just so difficult to hit the enemies correctly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around then Anima Soul. But even then, look, now I've come across the issue of that guy being there. I think I think that's my way forward here. I need to Anima Soul as soon as they pop up. And then take the, uh, take the time to kill him. Right, so... That didn't work at all. I used Anima Soul at the wrong time. Good. I love how mysterious music is on this floor. It's very somber. Good. And we can finally check out our shop. Black Candle is really good here. We'll take that. Um, We can't get to the Soul Heart, unfortunately. But Black Candle at least gave us a Black Heart. Stops us from getting cursed as well, which is going to be kind of nice. Right. Didn't find a use for Diffuse this floor. Let's keep on continuing on. Keep on continuing on. But yeah, so far, still absolutely in love with Fiendfolio. But like I said, it's 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 kind of wacky to think how many enemies we haven't seen. There's 500 new enemies. And we've probably only seen around 100 of those. Maybe a little more than 100. Um, probably probably around 200. But even still, we've, we've not even scratched the surface really, I don't think. Um, we're still a ways off of uh, seeing everything there is. And then also, there's um, uh, if anyone's been watching Slay recently, he's been putting out videos on Fiendfolio about some of the rare enemies that exist. Ooh, we got one of these little hearts here. I don't know what this does. Um, moon card. Yeah, I don't know what this heart does exactly. It's an interesting heart. We got a moon card there. I will just use it now, but I'll have to come back for my diffuse card. Damn you. Dud bomb. Goddamn dud bomb. So we definitely need some, some actual statistical increases, I think, now. Um, I'd really like some damage and fire rate, mainly fire rate, honestly, to trigger our uh, tier effects. But then, obviously, get the luck on top of that. Because right now, damage is fine. We've had one damage up in staple. But other than that, not so hot right now. That is very good. That's one of my favorite items in the entire game, so I will 100% take that. But this just exacerbates our need for um, for some fire. It it really does. But this is an item that I, I I really love. It gives us a good boost in damage too. Also, as you can see, it's made our um, made our swinger much bigger. Oh, 
Like his little groups of mushrooms, little bundles of mushrooms. Ooh, that was a good hit there. Good on you, I guess. Okay. And also with this damage as well, I think we're going to be getting um, getting our rage meter filled a lot quicker than normal. Oh, yes. Ooh, and it does Hemolacria on the hit as well. I always forget about that. You know what? I was just about to say, let's go for a bomb here, and then we got golden bombs, so why not? Crawl space is not what I was expecting to get from that, I'll be honest. Take a bunch of Chaos Pennies. Uh, that's a lot of pills. Pretty interesting room here. We got a horse pill, which we'll take. It was a health down. Got the sun, we'll just pop that. Range down. I'm going to take all the pills now, aren't I? I'm, I'm already in. I need a health up. Look down. How dare you? Stars card is really good here. Let's take the stars card for now. Okay, that was unfortunate. That was a, a series of unfortunate events. A doubled health down pill is really not what we were looking for. We do have a reverse stars card here, which I can't remember. Is that the one that gives you the broken hearts? The one that takes away your item? I think it's the one that takes away your item. It is. And we got rock bottom, which is really, really good. Would have been better if we got Hemolacria um, first, but there you go. Uh, sorry, rock bottom first. Shop items can now be purchased even if unafforded. Deck can, uh, gives more perfect damage down. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is really good because we can't get damage downs. So we can just take that. Yeah, but no damage down. Then we got on use. The player picks up a small red bomb that deals no damage um, and doesn't break rocks. I don't know why you'd need the credit card as well, but hey ho, I guess. Why not? Ow. <clears throat> so Rock Bottom's going to be decent on this run, but yeah, it definitely would have been better to get Hemolacria after the fact. All curses will provide additional unique benefits to the player. You are guaranteed to have a curse every fall. Let's try that out, why don't we? We already got some damage from it. Speed up, good. Right, now all we have to do is live. Yeah, we already just got some damage up that can never go away, which is rather nice. And yeah, well, we're pretty early on, so getting um, free from every shop is going to be good. It tells us our debt, but like the debt doesn't carry over into other runs or anything, so we don't really give a damn. Love these head thrower dudes. Also, we're going to get a huge stat up when we activate our rage mode, which is going to stay around. Which is rather nice. Do you know what pinking she is? Hell no. Oh my god. Okay. Let me get squeezy here, which is the fire up we were looking for. Which oh wait. Oh wait. That gave us a huge fire rate up. Okay. And then we get stairway. Stairway with an item where we don't need money. That is. That is um. Particularly quite awesome. Why not take this guy on? This run is going to be nutty. This run is going to be very nutty. <laughs> Stairway is just the best item possible with this rock bottom plus uh, dad's wallet setup. Oh, you gave me an XL flaw, are you kidding me? Goddamn XL floor. One less shop. In fact, this is now our last floor where we get shops, which is annoying. And one less stairway. That is so unfortunate. Obviously, we got the thing that guarantees giving us curses. 
So it's kind of my own fault. But I'm still very annoyed at that. This became a really good run. Really suddenly. Do I have any keys? God damn it. Damn it, there's a key right there. What does this guy do? Okay, he just jumps when he's ready. When he's good and ready. Damn it, I'm so annoyed at the XL floor there. That's so inconvenient. I love these big death heads. They're so cool. Okay, we got our key. Yeah, that is that is really frustrating. God damn. I mean, we might as well hack this open. Sometimes shoot a stream of poison tears. Um, I'm gonna take it, but I might end up removing it because it tends to be an item that I don't like very much. I'll be honest. It tends to be quite a laggy item. Oh, by the way, I keep forgetting to do this. I need to go over to um, here and check out one of my new mods. Um, where is it? What the hell's accurate bosses? Oh, accurate stage bosses. Okay. Um, maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's in this menu. I don't know where it is. Also, what's the settings in here? None, apparently. Also, this is now stuck, which is convenient. So I'm going to have to exit the run and continue. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, there was, I got a new mod that makes it so you can like have double tap for a bunch of items like Bob's Brain and stuff. And apparently there is a settings menu for it, but I can't find it. I probably scrolled right past it, to be honest. You're gonna spawn, big dude. There you go. Don't need to bomb you for money. Don't give a damn. What an insane combination of items. These three items are just so crazy. And we still have plenty of floors to go, so stairways are still gonna be useful. It's just a little annoying to lose out on a floor, especially the one with a shop, which would have been really useful. That's another key. We very much need keys right now. And I like the fact as well that on Samson sometimes, on Tate Samson, you don't want to transform because your normal runs better than your uh, swing. But the, the Hemolacria swing is actually really good. So I'm liking that a lot. Holy. That's just fun to watch, that is. Okay, so finally we found the boss. Oh god, hello. Right, we still need to find our shop though. Shop is very important. Okie dokie. I think our swing is still quite a lot stronger, but the two point, uh, th the three fire rate Hemolacra is still pretty good. I don't know when we got three fire rate. That might be from our curse bonus for this floor. We're about to transform as well. Whoa. Guy threw his head at me. And then this. I mean, we could say that we're wasting bombs here by doing this, but I can't be asked pushing them around, I'll be honest. We got our bombs back anyways. Typical that our shop is like the last thing that we find here. Still, unfortunately, really low on luck, though. Oh, damn. And to be honest, our health isn't great, either. Literally the last thing we find.
Oh, we got another item room as well. I forgot we had another item room coming up. That's kind of decent. Um, oh, hello. You look really cool. Justice is kind of good here. Let's go for that. Belly button's decent enough. Oh, what the hell? I don't need to complete this room. I'm going to open these anyways, because why not? Right. Um, there you go. We'll take that. Sadly, not a great shop there for us. And we'll scoot back. I mean, I'm, I ain't finding secret rooms here. Also, on XL floors, do you get four secret rooms or two? I'm pretty sure you only get two, don't you? XL floor is definitely one of the worst curses. Wait, was there a door back there that led to nothing? There's another one of these error room doors. What's going on with this? There's like this glitch where I keep finding these doors that lead to error rooms. So we can utilize that though, because we can find our tinted skull somewhere, wherever it might be. Let's try and do a little looking around and find it. Might take us a little bit of time because there's just so many rooms to look through. But there's only certain rooms it can spawn in, so it can't spawn in these large rooms. Yeah. We've got good speed as well, so that doesn't really bother me. Nope. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Hmm. A little lost on where it is, to be honest. So easy to walk past it. Damn, son. I don't know where it is. I probably walked past it already. No, not there. I don't think I know where it is. Okay, it doesn't matter. I was gonna I was gonna take advantage of that error room, but. Oh well, I don't know what is causing that error room bug. It's very strange. Uh, check the second secret room though here and here. There you go. Oh hello, I still want to find out what you do. You take a heart container? What the hell? I'm gonna take a risk here and give give you all of them to see if you pay out. Okay, you paid out. You paid out with a terrible item. That's a pretty cool beggar. A pretty cool beggar. Right. Anyways. Boss time. Double trouble boss first. Luckily, it's not very double trouble when you have Animasola. Dude, oh my god. He dodged the entirety of that attack. That's good if it actually gives us fire rate. It didn't. It did give us shot speed, though, which I respect with this. Yeah, that was destroyed. Uh, dark path here. And we keep going. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those error room doors. If anyone can figure out what's, what's causing that, I'd be grateful. Because that has caught me out a few times now. You have quite a lot here, don't you, sir? Oh, you gave me an item as well when I bought out your stock. Um. Okay, for one, my tears look awesome now. I might keep Jara Wisps just because I have um, jumper cables to fill it up. Anima Soul is like really good, so I'm, I'm a little apprehensive to leave it behind. But yeah, I'm going to keep Jara Wisps. It's an item I don't take very often, and I think it's a fun one. And I think obviously our damage is like good enough otherwise. We need to, we need to be kind of fast though because we're trying to uh, make hush fight because we want an extra floor. What the hell's going on in here exactly? That room confused me greatly. You can see how much we've already filled it, look. Why have we got all these bullshit rooms we gotta deal with? I'll be very careful with my current HP. Okay. 
Okay. Some rooms are just clearing out automatically. What the hell was that then? This is the boss already. Would like some soul hearts, please. Oh, new boss. Too bad he's going to die very much instantly. Although I don't know what these attacks do, so be worried. Yep. Didn't know he was going to do that. My health is looking bad. Plus two luck. Oh, yes. Luck upgrade. That's so good. Puzzle piece is decent. A pet. Um, sin robes is what it is. Yeah, sin robes is good. Okay, down we go. We got five minutes. That's no, six minutes even. Glyph of Balance could be really good for us here. Can we play into these guys for free? No, we can't. We actually have to have pennies for those. I didn't think that would be the case, but you never know with these things. The way that they're coded could be a little different than you expect. Is there another one of these guys? There is. Holy. You split up into mob bloody bits. Okay, we've already got um, our, our jar into a very good position here. Honestly, that two luck upgrade, I can already tell it making a difference right here. Thank you. Ooh, look at all the like little bits that these guys are throwing out. Good for our charges. We've got our health up to a decent level now as well, which I like. Very happy with. Grab that. Oh, hello there. Right, through we go. We don't need another bomb, really. I mean, we could use one, but we don't need one. Whoa. Whoa there. Okay, I've got one of these rooms as well. Actually, we've got exactly seven keys, which is enough to get everything on the hush fight. I'd rather just stick with that. Yeah, so many enemies, like, there's so many enemies in each room, but so many enemies spawn other enemies, so jumper cables is really good in Fiend Folio. Eternal heart there, lovely. Not that it actually matters, to be honest. I love the way we look, by the way. No, my game crashed. I know why. It's the bloody glitch. One second. Okay, we are back. And of course, in fitting with this game, this issue happened again. I really don't know what's causing it. I'm not going to take the stuff. Let's just go down. Yeah, it just spawns a bajillion sacks. I really don't know why. Also, my minimap got really messed up when the game crashed too. It was very confusing. Um, We do get a stairway again here. Good. Sadly, nothing great though. Just a holy mantle. Take all of that crap. I don't really need to take the money, to be honest. It's just paying back my debt. Euthanasia is great for us here. I think this would be good for us. I probably should have... No, it was terrible. Uh, I probably should have taken the... Um... That was really bad. <laughs> uh, oh, well. I probably should have taken the other thing anyways. Oh, wait, why can't I... Buy this. Is it because I'm at 99? Almost. Um, that was a really bad choice taking my reflection there, wasn't it? Um, but I should have taken the other thing because I could have gotten a holy poop, which would have given me like an insane stat boost. But my reflection here, it's probably not going to be too bad, like just because obviously we've got this going on. Whoa. Look at all the shots waving around us right now. Holy. I love the way our um, our jawbone looks right now. It's so good. Ooh, I've not heard that hush music before with this mod. It's really cool. Look at all those shots. Honestly, we're not doing as much damage as I thought to this guy. I thought this guy would be getting absolutely melted right now. 
It's really intense music though, this. Oh my god. Whoa, look at all that, like, desecration area it spawned. Spawn more things. That works for us. That works really well for us. There you go, get some more desecration on this boy. I wonder if you have deep pockets if you can go in debt further than 99. I'm getting hit quite a bit here, but it's fine. I keep tap firing just to make sure that when my burn thing comes back out, I can actually use it effectively. I'm not just holding it down to throw it. Damn, this guy didn't spawn like anything anymore. He's almost dead though. Oh, dude, that was the worst timing for that. I was not ready. Okay, we lost quite a lot of health there, but holy shit, look at that. He spawned one of those things. Okay, we, we might not be able to afford anything on stairway here, from what I understand about how this works. We'll see if that ends up being the case, I guess. Which would be sad, but we'll see. Uh, we're going down, aren't we? Yes, we are. Let's see. Can we afford anything? We can't afford it. But this should be able to give us enough, right? Indeed it does. Good. I thought I'd let us go past 99, but it does it doesn't. So we still we do still need a bit of money. Not a lot, but to get us by. Right. Let's go. Yeah, boss is over there. Ow! Wasn't expecting that guy. Could hold a second trinket here, so let's grab that. The sextant is, like, doing some weird stuff with our mapping as well, look. We've got, like, lo like half of the map revealed. Our health is really low as well at the minute, which is kind of scary. Considering how good this run is. Oh, good sir. Hello. I did not know you were in this mod. He was originally another another mod. But what the hell's going on with him? He just has a really lengthy death animation, apparently. Um, I think I'm going to try and do a few, more, few extra rooms here, if I can. I don't want to do a ton, but I want to get a few more charges, and I'll see if I can find some health. I also want to see if I can find the mini boss at some point. There is a mini boss on this floor somewhere. Ooh, burn heart. See, this is what I'm looking for right here. That right there is what we need. Yeah, there is a mini boss somewhere on this floor that can give us a soul heart or a devil deal, I think. Don't know how hard the mini boss actually is, so... I think I fought him once before, but I had a really busted build. I can't remember. I'm sure we'll find him. I love those desecration areas. Oh, that was close to me walking into that fire then. Very close. Oh, look at these assassins. What's in here, actually? We do have an item here. Worm friend's decent. More luck is good. Careful of this dude doing his thing. Oh, that was it. Okay. That was quick. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ooh, do not like this room. We're up to eight now. Like, like look at our wisps. They're going crazy. Dude, 
dude, what the hell? This guy like teleported into me then, you see that? I don't think so, sir. Oh, here he is, here he is. Because I don't really know how, how tough of a boss he is, to be honest. He's got some iframes, we know that. We've got a strength card out of this as well, so that's really good. Do some teleporting shots towards me. Okay, we got him. And he did give us something good. He gave us Grant's Herming Tears to have a chance to fear enemies. Uh, enemies take 1.5 times damage from all sources, which is insane because it doesn't matter that it didn't increase our damage at all. The enemies are still going to take extra damage. That's kind of crazy. Right, back this way. Grab that heart. Strength card's going to be useful for uh, Mega Satan. Remember, this guy is tougher now. Not as easy as he once was. That's a really good start to this guy, though, I will say. Okay, good. He's taken care of. Okay, wow. Well, that went well. Right, in we go. Still looking a little weak for health, but otherwise things are looking good. I'm going to take that as a bit of a risky move, but I think it's going to be good. Can't afford that, unfortunately. The sensor's pretty good here. We'll take that. And then Revelation. Uh, we can't take the Soul Heart, damn it. We can now. As that, and he gave us an extra chest, which gave us Quad Shot. Oh my god, Quad Shot's a huge, 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 huge damager. Because there's no stats down associated with it. Is this, oh, it's this guy again, hello. You're straight back at it. You're going to die pretty fast though, I sir. Let's check out the secret room here. Blood bag over here. This can be good, so we'll take that. We'll check it at least. Eh, wasn't good for us. Right, let's get out of here. I think we've got some really cool tier effects for this run. Euthanasia doing a great job. Sulfuric Acid could be interesting here. Apparently there's still an enemy in this room. Wait, no, no, no. I'm just looking at this wrong. I was just, looking, I was just reading the map wrong there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so confused. What? How do I get over here? Oh, I've got flight. Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't know when I got flight. Plus nine every use. This was definitely a worthy take. Anima Solar probably still would have been a bit better defensively. This is still really good. Whoa! Very confused at what hit me there. Scapula could be good. Extra Soul Heart. That's good. Seraphim. That's perfect. Oh, we got a secret room back here. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't see that coming. Very good stuff indeed. Got some really interesting combos this run, didn't we? <clears throat> this is a proper good rock bottom run, this is. Got all the classics. All we need now is like soy milk or something. There's a boss in here somewhere that I have not seen a single time so far. I, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, you're over here, that's why. Beautiful. Can use our space bar again in a sec. Oh, it's you again. Hello. You you keep showing up, and I keep destroying you. You ought to, you ought to sit the hell back down, sir. It's not going so hot for you. Mm. 
rubber cement on all top of all of this. I don't know what rubber cement's gonna really do for us, but I like the idea of it on a run like this. Ow. We are taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, C-section? I don't even know what that's gonna do. It, it's not as good. Ooh, plus pop as well. Okay, no, it is good. It is good. They split into more when they die. Okay, this is, yeah, this is pretty insane. No victory lap for us, thank you. Let's go and do Mega Satan. Yeah, okay, C-section definitely adds quite a lot to this. I don't know if pop does much, but C-section definitely does. Mega Satan music popping off. Popping off. Oh my god. They all come in swinging. They're all multicolored and everything. Pretty beautiful. When they kill an enemy, they just create a billion tears. Someone used a friend till the end pill there, I don't know who. <laughs> These desecration zones are just killing things so fast as well. Oh my god. The amount of tear effects with this run. Oh my god, look at that desecration zone. That's insane. Yeah, you, you died pretty fast there, my sir. My ladder. Gonna let me do delirium? I'd like to do delirium. You aren't, you bastard. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a fun one. I'll see you guys in the next one.